Tide and the Trojans from Texas. Deep boot driven into the end zone for a touchback. Showing a little tempo here. And in the pistol formation, they fake it to Davis. And Brown will take his first downfield shot. Darius Rogers goes up and makes a leaping grab inside the Alabama 35. In the jet sweep, they hand it off to Stephen Mitchell Jr. Tide string it out and they hammer him for a loss. Marlon Humphrey, the corner, came up to deliver the shot. Matt Bormeister is the junior kicker. And he's going to try it out for a pretty long one. 47 yards for the lefty. And it ricochets around and goes through. Wow, 47 yucker. I think he hit the crossbar and the upright. They never did. In the first snap of Blake Barnett's career. Here is the freshman from California. Under center and Damian Harris is deep and tailback, but they hand it to Stewart around the end. And he's got a block from Ridley. And he's got a big gain out across the 40. Look at all those Trojans crowding the line. It could all be about a disguise. You're yeah, bouncing in, giving him different looks, showing him one thing, going to another. Yeah, they do drop back, but it hit him hard, knocked down a sack. Leon McQuay and the linebacker Michael Hutchins converting on the quarterback, and it's a stop for SC. Due to the timeout, third and three, Davis to Brown's left. He flips it on a screen, and the catch is made there by Stephen Mitchell Jr. The ball is getting out fast, isn't it? You I impressed mean, by Brown, really? I am. I am. I'm impressed by the play calling, too, from T. Martin. Davis nowhere to run. That middle was clogged, and he'll be dropped for a loss there. Sean Dion Hamilton. Inside linebacker flew through. Bama rushing four, but Brown is still pressured. Steps up, shows some speed, and both straight down the field before sliding into Alabama territory. And now Brown's going to go tempo here. 17-yard gain in the third down. Now Brown's going to loop the ball down here. First attempt for Juju Smith-Schuster, and a flag comes in. This is the matchup we talked about. Minka Fitzpatrick, who had a spectacular freshman year, trying to stop the Trojans' top target. Third and ten. Brown in the flat. Catch made by Deontay Burnett, but he's run out well short of the first down by Averitt. Alabama fans rising to their feet. Brown will be dropped. Anderson got him, and the Tide will take over. It's almost entirely new front seven, isn't it? Yeah. On third and five, Barnett flips a short pass. That's O.J. Howard, the tight end, who was the offensive MVP of the championship game. But Chris Hawkins dropped him right there. It's fourth down. This secondary is playing with an edge. With the Dory Jackson back there. J.K. Scott will again try to boom one of those high-hanging kicks and deny the dangerous returner a chance. It's like you see on Sunday. <laughs> and it's going to roll out of bounds at the two. This guy's going to be punting on Sunday. He is a special, special punter. Play clock running down. Got to hurry. It's a two. And they just get it off and hand it off inside and drop for a loss. There is Ronald Jones as the tie came flying through. Tim Williams playing a part. And don't think this guy is just a, a, a change of pace, no. you know, wildcat type quarterback. To watch him sling the ball around is impressive. And here he is back in his home state. That's right. And he's got great field position to work with. Ball at the plus 49. But the ball is fumbled his very first snap, and SC recovers. So all the talent and all the potential, I'm sure he'll have a good career, but Cameron Smith recovers it. Look who's out there for SC. Their number two, Adoree Jackson, the corner who played three ways last year, but has not practiced on offense. He's just a decoy, and once again, the pressure gets to Brown. You know how Chad Wheeler is not in this game? All right, your Lane Kiffin, it's third and nine. Your freshman's put it on the ground once. Let's see what he calls here on, on third and nine, Kirk. And he's got Hurts rolling out. Cuts it back. 
He can't make enough Trojans miss. He's going to be stopped right there. Cameron Smith got him, and a punt comes up. <laughs> Real games. <laughs> Play action. Brown wanted to go downfield, but will be dropped. Third sack for the tie. That was Payne and Allen combining. It's Howard in motion. They got to hurry. Oops, rolling out. Shows the big arm. Throws a rope on the sidelines. Let's check the spot. Ridley's got it. And it's going to be a first down. And a great job at tiptoeing into the sidelines by Calvin Ridley. Knew exactly where he needed to get for the first down there on third down. By a few inches. <laughs> This play action hurts shows the elusiveness gets a block on the edge gets another block and scampers out across the 45. Yeah, they say he's an absolute beast in the weight room. Harris cuts it back. That's a, one of the more positive runs for SC and on second and short they move the change again to midfield. Hurts looks that way but fires over the middle. It's intended for Garrett Dieter. He was inheriting that slot role of Richard Mullaney. He came from Bowling Green, Kirk, where he caught 94 balls, but SC all over that little round. Two by two look with Justin Davis in the backfield. Brown delivered short, would have been nowhere near a first down. Again, Juju Smith Schuster crowded by Fitzpatrick. Here comes a punt. Here's the Aussie Tilby again. Time to peel back to set up a return. It's a low kick. Ridley can't get to it. And Spins backwards out of bounds right near midfield. That's where the tie will take over. 902 until halftime. After the play, personal foul, face mask, kicking team number six. He's not afraid of anything. Hurts rolls out, flips it. Howard has to awkwardly make a catch and will lose yardage. Timing again off on that play, and Marvell Tell dropped him. We've got to take away the talented receivers after the catch. Tied to a two for eight on third down. Need 13. Hurts shows the arm, throws it into the end zone for a touchdown. Our Darius Stewart. A taste of what this talented true freshman quarterback can do, and the tie take the lead. I do show pressure. It's deflected at the line and incomplete. And down on the field now is the man you talked about, Shuma Adoga, and one of the key defensive linemen, Jefferson, leaving the game to be checked out on the USC sideline. Harris again makes a quick cut and a burst and breaks a tackle. Damian Harris will be tracked down inside the 15 by the speedy Jackson, but the tide are rolling. Third downs it been a nightmare for the time. This is a straight quarterback keeper. Hurts, not much there. He was two for ten. They had the one big touchdown play, but they have really struggled on third down. Marshall forced it out. 28 yards for the young man born in Poland. No problem. So the tide. Get the big run from Damian Harris and stretch the lead to seven. We had two, what, what do we have? Two top five teams today go down. It's good. I think this thing is wide open. That's what makes it so great. Comes and, of course, tested at Auburn tonight. This is Adoree Jackson. You see the acceleration. Just not able to elude one of the coverage guys. Dropped at the 19, Rashawn Evans. Nice play. And now a flag comes in, a scuffle well after the whistle. Dory Jackson's trying to help him out right there. Uh -huh. After mm. the play, flagrant personal foul by the receiving team, number 40. He stomped on a player. He should get ejected. Half the distance to the goal from the dead ball spot, number 40 has disqualified himself from the game. Ruffin was a backup, a senior, though, but you're right. Depleted depth already at the linebacker position. And second and eight. Deflection intercepted. Humphrey scores. Often the criticism was that Kessler went to Smith Schuster too often. Didn't spread the ball around. The opposite problem tonight, they can't get it to the key guy. This is flipped to Stephen Mitchell Jr. Breaks some tackles, still going on the far sideline. Down to the Bama 40. 
And that gives you an idea of what Mitchell can do. Bojan's just two of nine on third down. Brown harassed, delivers it, and it's incomplete. Mitchell was standing out of bounds when the pass arrived. It'll be fourth down. You're Max Brown. You've never made a start. Harris into heavy traffic. Stop at the 15. So this tied team got off to a very slow start. Got the touchdown pass to ignite them. And then the pick six, and they lead 17-3 at the break. Not talked about Garrett Dieter, who's on the slot to the left, who's a great option on third downs. Hurts and said, looks to the right, and breaking wide open is Stewart. They won't catch him. Alabama stretches the lead. And third and 13, the pressure comes. Brown dumps it off. It's incomplete. Just no chance. Reuben Foster, the linebacker, was tracking the tight end McNamara. It was Tim Williams who knocked Brown down. Now the punt is, the snap is fumbled, and Tilby, instead of picking it up and booting it, just falls on it. Grabs an abundance of caution there. And I'd be taking notes about who wants to compete. Who, who, who wants to compete in 2016, or who's going to shut it down? Hurts with the keeper. Just gets the corner inside the five. Gustin dropped him down. It'll be third and about a yard and a half. Now that one touchdown throw really changed everything, didn't it? Scarborough muscling forward. It'll be first and goal for Alabama. Alabama is starting to kind of get some traction and, and create some of their confidence after trying to replace all those great players from a year ago. Empty backfield. It's a straight ahead run and Hurts goes straight ahead for a touchdown. His first rushing touchdown. A very promising looking career. Tough third and ten against this pressure. Donald just rolls out and runs for his life and Rashawn Evans forced him out and here comes yet another three and out. And Saban Kirk, 64 years old, is a grandpa now. Some around him say he's maybe mellowed just a little bit in the last couple years from maybe an 11 on the 1 to 10 scale of all ball <laughs> intensity down to an 8 or so. Hurts tries to get the ball to Stewart, and there is the first interception of his college career. Imam Marshall was right there. Everything from this point on will be a lot slower, so that's one thing that's good. The rest of the games that he gets a chance to know. He has Stanford in a few weeks. Darnold down the sidelines, delivered to Darius Rogers off his hand. Oh, look, does that say we got this? They're talking about playing Alabama already. Yeah, that's what it says. And, uh, do they still think that after watching this ball game? A little swag for a bunch that almost lost to the Mountaineers. It's BJ Emmons. Ball comes out. He's able to recover it. And he's surviving. This is Harris bursting free again. Stutter step. Damian Harris off to the races. Jackson given chase. And able to track him down at the five. But great job by the line up front and by the sophomore, Damian Harris, who I think is a great fit in this system. He got 73 yards and now Hurts rolls out and scampers in. And the beatdown is on. And that, that's, again, he's been on that campus since January. As he's gone back to Max Brown at quarterback, and running free is Ronald Jones, and he makes a big gain down inside the Alabama 35. The linebackers can really run on this Alabama defense. You go side to side, you better be ready. To make it a third down for us, and they only need two, and where is going to get it? You know, Foster, Hamilton, a number of guys, John Allen up front, lost 10, 15, 20 pounds in some cases. But he used that, that game to really get him ready for a big, big year this year. Third and 14, Brown harassed again, flips it over the middle and over the head of Smith Schuster, who was well covered by Ronnie Harrison, and it's fourth down. It's Matt Bormeister from 41. And this time the lefty with less drama doesn't need a, a carom shot that rolls across the crossbar. Just knocks it through. A 
They hand it to Scarborough. And methodically picks his way, and the pile gets moved forward out near the marker. It'll be third down and two. That offensive line, Chris, I, from the beginning of the game to now, combination of them getting better and, and more comfortable, communicating better. Scarborough fights right near the 45. That's where the marker is. I see your point. A different personality style, oh, though, wouldn't you say? Totally, I mean, Davis was so totally, big and so gregarious. Totally and, I'm just saying the way the team responds right. to him. This is Barnett. And it delivers down the field, and O.J. Howard hauls it in and has a first and goal for Alabama. And the hero of the championship game victory makes a play. But I think Jalen Hurts will take over to be the quarterback. Barnett again rolls out, takes a hard shot, and is knocked down short of the goal line. It's been a quiet night for, for Calvin Ridley, the super talented receiver who caught 89 balls at a thousand yard year last year, just two for nine yards tonight. Let's bring all the tight ends in the game through Alabama on fourth down and goal. They're going to go for it. Harris and Scarborough in the backfield. It's Scarborough and Bo barrels in. Behind a whole lot of beef up front. We could just not talk for 13 minutes and just watch him. Brown hands it off. Davis dropped for a loss there. And Scotty, I'm telling you, he's just keeping there. You have to. Talking February, March, April, and May, year round. Brown chased on third down into traffic. It's complete underneath. They tackled immediately for a loss. Now watch it. Defense is going to come off the field, so he's. Barnett and under freshman Joshua Jacobs. And Barnett on the slant. Nice catch made by Cam Sims. Everybody's getting a chance to make a play now. Well, it says a lot about recruiting, development, and, and just the way they prepare as an offense before Jim McElwain. And what we've seen, of course, with Lane Kiffin over these last two years. You know, continue I, to you, plow straight ahead. You always hear people say in recruiting, why can't Alabama recruit a quarterback that's a first round draft pick type of quarterback so they find the right guys that fit their system. They could begin. Yeah, whoever started out of these three guys was going to be obviously a first time starter but it's interesting Kirk that they've gone with the two guys that have zero experience. But just through gaining confidence through getting an opportunity to be out there he's become a different guy tonight as well from where he was early to where he is right now. And now he fires downfield and a touchdown to Dieter. The transfer from Bowling Green gets in the scoring column. Unleashing all the weapons. 45 yards. But SC isn't that far behind. There's a slant. Darnold connects again with Burnett and they'll you move mean, the change into the territory. To six far no, behind no, I mean, you talk about five stars, four stars. They're one of the few teams that, that actually can sort of hang with Alabama in terms of personnel, yet they're 46 points behind and getting worked over. So. I, I would say when you look at receivers and running backs and maybe secondary guys, but not when you look in the trenches, not when you look at the offensive line and the defensive line and the linebackers. That, that. Interference, defense number 28, automatic first down. Oh, that's bad luck because Sims has been a guy that's been hurt by knee injuries and ACL and MCL. A junior, Kirk, has waited a long time to make an impact, and that is that is a piece of bad news. And, and all that hard work, he'd worked himself up to probably be in the, the fourth wide receiver or in the rotation. Flag down as Darnell loops it downfield for Jones broken up. And then when Kirby went and took the job, obviously this job opened up, and, and they basically switched locations, and now he's here running defense and knows what Coach Saban wants as well as anybody. Hammonds Hammonds forward and Bateman gets a turn. This is this is ultra ultra mop up duty for the guy who had the only previous start among these quarterbacks the the loss against Ole Miss last year. High snap Bateman collects it and will just slide down to the 10 ball comes out again but it's no fumble because there's so much more for them to accomplish this year than just playing Alabama and they missed out on on that opportunity 
after competing early in the game. Obviously, this thing has gotten away. Dominic Davis gets a turn. This will not be apparently the worst loss in USC history. The defense is is a staple, and they look great tonight. But Jalen Hurts and some of the plays that he came up with probably got to be a big story, don't you think? Quarterback keeper, and Darnold dives ahead. SEC or USC struck first, and then the SEC in Alabama punched back in a big way. Saban will still have work to do. He'll tell you that lots of improvement is needed, but Jalen Hurts, in his debut, the true freshman spectacular, and Lane Kiffin, Colin plays against his former school, enjoyed just about every minute of this. 52 6, the final in Arlington.